And welcome back to the channel, Survivors. In today's video, we're going to be diving back into Enshrouded. I'm going to be specifically bringing you a guide on how to farm and get lumps of clay. As you guys are familiar here, lumps of clay are needed for a variety of different things, but most importantly, they are used for the kiln that you need to craft in order to unlock all of the recipes that the Carpenter NPC offers. Alrighty, so now when it comes to locating the actual clay nodes that you can mine yourself in the world, if we take a look and zoom out on our map, we have the, you know, the ancient spire here, the very first one that you discover. Um, we keep on going up. We then have the hidden tomb entry, and then we even have the vault of the hunter. If you go right above the vault of the hunter, you can see here, here's the vault. If you go literally right past it behind it, there is a little pathway here I'll show you, but we do, we do discover our very first node, um, and that is going to be in this new forest-like area, but you can see up there to the left, you see that burning looking orange? looks kind of like a like a resin orange on top of those rocks that's actually going to be what we need to mine so if we go ahead and select our pickaxe here and then we work our way up on top there's a little scavenger camp and ruins right there but we're going to go ahead and ignore that head over here to this first uh chunk of stone there it is so you can see the orange all right here and it is a ton they give you a lot of clay right here so you can see each time you mine the clay one time, it'll give you one um, each, at least for, for the standard axe that you have or pickaxe. And then you can go ahead and grab what you need. I believe to unlock the kiln itself, you only need 10. But in my opinion, I would say just keep on going until your tool's about to break probably and then uh, fast travel back to home. So you can just uh, make you know the most out of the clay node and not have to keep on you know making smaller trips um, over and over again now keep in mind that there are several different locations and deposits across the world but I will say when you look at your map it seems like after you unlock the carpenter and you can go further than the farmers um, vault here up here further north you'll eventually hit red shroud as you can see here and you cannot cross acro um, up, um, across that until you uh, increase the level of your flame but what I was gonna say was is you can see right about here this line this line, it's like an invisible line, but right across right here, right in line with the table saw for the carpenter quest, and right alongside this flame shrine, anything above this north, it seems you can find lumps of clay there very easy, along with, you know, a variety of other resources. Alrighty, so now once you've collected enough, head back to base, and then run over to the carpenter, and then obviously you can throw it in to craft the kiln. You can see I've got everything that I need, we're going to go ahead and craft it. And then from here, we can go ahead and place it down. It doesn't really matter. There's no ventilation in this game, at least not what we have seen. So we're going to go ahead and put it as far as I can like this uh, without it clipping too bad. I don't want to clip into the, the stairs, but you can see right there. Um, and then from here, the only recipe that I currently have available that I can craft with is going to be the fired brick. And once again, you can see you are going to need more lumps of clay to do so. We're gonna, so we're going to go ahead and throw that in here. And then we're going to need some wood on top of it. But um, additionally here, another really big important one of why you want to make sure you get you know everything unlocked for the carpenter brings us into the first magic chest specifically the small one you can see that i do have the ability to craft medium sized ones now but the small magic chest is technically dedicated storage meaning as long as it's in close proximity of your crafting bench then you will actually be able to pull the items directly from your chest instead of having to put them in your inventory in addition to the storage items and crafting the different chest chest that he also provides a ton of comfort items you can see here in the comfort section we have beds we have different styles of tables fireplaces chairs benches bathroom stuff even as well for a toilet sink and tub and then even illumination things like a chandelier you know additional torches onto the ones that you could craft beforehand keep in mind that the comfort comfort system in this game is very important as being well rested for instance if we go ahead and click in on our keyboard go to the status you can see up in the top left hand side that we will get increased stamina to our maximum amount and also regeneration for this specific time as your comfort level increases of course then this time you know will increase even further allowing you to you know take a significant increase to your stamina before heading out into your adventure and with that being said guys that's going to wrap up the video for today as always if you haven't done so already please be sure to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything enshrouded related i've got a variety of different guides on my channel already for enshrouded things like the ultimate starter guide how to farm metal scraps i've got one coming out for farming you name it i'm going to be just pumping out as many guides as possible so if you're trying to stay up to date with everything in the game and learn everything then be sure to subscribe here on the channel with that being said if you guys are interested in joining my awesome discord community of almost 7,000 members we would love to have you and you can find that link down below in the description with that being said as always guys i'll see you on the next one